how's everybody doing today? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It is Amber Theo Harris, the Vice President of Original Program Development for Clickstream, symbol CLIS. How are you doing today, Amber? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me, Rich. I'm excited to be on the show. Hey, my pleasure. Thank you for being here. And why don't we get right started into it? What made you decide to get into sports broadcasting and creating, producing, original programming leading to receiving an Emmy Award. And congratulations on that. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. Um, you know, I always just wanted to be a sports broadcaster. I think I wrote it on an eighth grade guidance counselor report. So that sums up where that came from. I just always knew what I wanted to do. I was an athlete, I loved speaking, I loved writing. Um, and I was lucky enough, I've been lucky enough to do it for the past 20 something years. Um, at, at, at a very high level, you know, I've, I've hosted Thursday night football. I've, I've been on the sidelines for Monday night football. I've covered world series. I've covered eight Super Bowls. So kind of reaching the pinnacle of your profession, um, is very gratifying, but you, you, you kind of start to look at, you know, what do I really love in life? Is this what I want to do for the rest of my life? And, um, I've always loved writing. Um, I've always loved creating shows and ideas and I've been published in, in different magazines um, like Forbes and Fortune. And, um, but I wanted to, this was the one area, you know, I, I produced documentaries. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But this is one, the one area that there was a gap and I think it's the future of media and that's gaming. Um, and when this opportunity came in front of me from Clickstream, I really felt like this is what I'd been looking for, an opportunity to develop an app from the ground up. And, and put my mark on it using all 20 some years of, of knowledge of audience research and things like that. So it was exciting for me to become a part of this. Absolutely. Now you, you kind of touched on it a little bit, but why win quick and how did you create your model for programming? Because win quick is different than any app that has is similar. We have a lot of trivia apps. Um, this is, this is different in the sense that, it gave me an opportunity to, to believe in a product, number one, because I think the actual software, the design, I knew I could bring in the right talent. I could see sort of the roadmap in front of me. And a lot of projects come in front of me and I, I kind of think, I don't know how I can, I don't think this is going to work. With all my knowledge, I don't think this is going to work. And this immediately idea started coming to me. So it, it just seemed like a, a fit. Um, and, and that's why I, I joined on. Now, the WinQuick talent roster is full of well-known well -known personalities. How and why did you target these specific personalities? Well, you know, I, I want to go back to the question I don't think I answered about the model, and that, that ties into the talent. Um, you know, I was sitting down on my back porch thinking of, like, how can we structure this to be different from, like, an HQ, um, where they had phenomenal hosts, but they weren't really tied to a genre or a topic. And so I started with picking six topics, categories, trivia categories that I felt appealed to all humans of all demographics, things like survival, religion, food, um, top, movies, sports. So we went down that path first saying, okay, let's do specific genres and then let's tie a host into those genres. And so I tried to find people and recruit top-notch talent that already had a following in that genre. Um, we got Chef Jordan Andino for cooking. We have a former Green Beret for survival who has done a ton of work on TV survival shows. He's wrote, writ, written a dozen books on survival. Um, Brian Baldinger is an NFL Network analyst and he happens to be a movie buff, so he's doing sports movies. Then we have Howie um, Schwab, who people remember from ESPN, Stump the Schwab. He's doing our sports trivia. So I kind of matched um, hosts that were already well known, had a huge following, and we were lucky enough to sign them because they believe that this is the next step in, in gaming and the next platform as far as media is concerned. Um, and you know, we, we, were, we were lucky to get them and, and we're excited to have them. We think it's a strong launch with this talent. You just wrapped your first month of pro production. Can you tell us how the shows are shaping up? Great. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to tip my handle too much um, creatively as to what we're doing, but we have sat through some of the post-production and Infinix Soft 
is, is our amazing partner who, who is developing the app and the graphics and the look and pairing it with what we just shot with the talent that just jumps off the screen, that knows their material so well, and the audience is going to connect to. We, we kind of got a little bit giddy in our last weekly meeting when we first started to see some of the markups. Um, it, it, it really is strong. I think it's something that the audience and the users are, go, are going to love and really feel connected to. Now, why do you think that WinQuick will thrive in an environment where a company like HQ failed? We well, say the environment, one positive about the environment that we learned from HQ was they had about 2 million users within six months. So there is a market for these trivia apps, especially live trivia. Um, but what makes us completely different than just picking up your phone and randomly playing a trivia game is A, we have talent that connects with you and so you'll be challenged and educated. We also have a timing mechanism and that is probably the biggest difference from a technological standpoint. So the idea is to race through your 10 questions in that one game or one episode as we call it. So you have 10 questions, 10 seconds to answer, and you've gotta be right and you've gotta be fast. And so our technology can measure down to the millisecond which users answered the most right, the fastest. And wow. then probably the, the other thing that makes us very different is there's a chance to win bigger money. There's a chance to win bigger cash prizes than HQ where they divided the pot between everybody that got the questions correct. So I think on average it was a 43 cent return for a win, whereas we're limiting it, limiting it to the top 10 um, in a tiered format as far as prizes are handed out. So you have a chance if you're in that top 10 to win really big real money and that money goes right into your bank account once you set up your profile through PayPal. Um, and then I think as far as sustainability, that really makes us different um, in the sense that we have brought on some top-notch executives um, to lead up our sponsorship and partnership department. And the business model is that these pots and these games and the app will be sustained through sponsorships that are tailored they're very strategic partnerships. They're, they're tailored specifically for that genre. Maybe that host organically already had, like uh, Chef Jordan Andino, he's on the Food Network. You know, he has a lot of sponsors. Bringing them in um, to help with the sustainability of the app, I think is what is gonna make us successful long-term. Very good. Now you've recruited some top talent behind the scenes. People that we haven't mentioned yet. Um, people who have long track records of success. Who are some of the key hires on the executive team? I think I have to start with, I just meant to mention sponsorship. I have to start with our VP of sponsorship and partnerships, um, Greg Clem. He is a former VP of sponsorships at Hilton Hotels. He spent, wow. he spent 10 years doing this, um, working with you know multi-million dollar accounts and partnerships. And, you know, we were just, again, very lucky to, to be able to recruit him and him say, hey, yeah, I can help you out. And then he got excited about what was happening here. And he signed on to, to be a, a long-term part of this. So uh, starting with him, we have um, a wonderful PR department, head of PR, Adam Handelsman, who's launched many digital platforms. He's a veteran guru in PR. And then I think one of the, the, the main key hires was we just brought on a firm called Simnexus out of New York. They're a, mark appening, uh, a app marketing firm. And they, um, if what they do is they, 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 they break it down to user base to, we'll start out with this amount and this is what we can expect based on other apps, um, based on the market, based on using or our organic assets as far as our talent and their natural following. So we really have a realistic view of user growth that can be projected over the first six months um, and, and, and getting us uh, organically on those app stores, streaming on the front page of the app stores, um, trending, things like that. So I think it's really set us up for, for success. Very good. And when will WinQuick app be available for beta testing? And when will the app launch with cash and prizes being paid to the winners? 
You, always, you, you go straight to the cash, Rich. I understand what you're all about. That's what everybody wants to know. When can I win some cash? Um, well, first, let me start with the beta launch. The beta launch is, is we're excited to announce it is going to be August 13th at 8 o'clock. You can go to winquick.com, clickstream.com. You can check on if there's still space. I don't know if there is still space available. It's been very popular as far as signing up. Um, to, to be one of the first users to test it. And we're really looking forward to that feedback. But then we are, we are definitely on schedule to launch right around mid-September. A date has not been solidified just yet, but um, that is when you, all your friends and everybody out there can start to play and win some cash. And the best part is you don't have to pay. It's a free app, so you don't have to pay to download it. You don't have to pay anything to sign up or to play it. All you have to do is try to win cash. And so it really is, I know this is a weird term, but it's free money. It's free money if you win. So um, we're, we're excited about it. We think it's, it's gonna be a big hit. Now, are there any plans to expand programming past the initial six shows? Um, <laughs> we, sorry, yes, that's a great question. Um, we are going to expand programming as my children come in. Um, as we all know, they're home full time. Um, <laughs> Um, we are expanding programming. You know, we want to do stuff for children even. Um, you know, there's no age to use the app. Um, and we would love to do Michael Hawk, our survival expert, the former Army captain in Green Beret. He um, has written books on a family survival, sur surviving in your own house, self-defense, a lot of these different um, ways to survive. And I think that could be a really cool show that we're looking at. We're starting with these first six that we're very excited about, but um, everything, you know, we're, we're looking at all, we're looking at, vid at video at gaming. Um, you know, I pitched a whole show on Fortnite. So <laughs> we'll see. We really want to tap into what's popular out there and what users are interested in of all age. You know, everything from children my age, um, that was my nine-year-old and my six-year-old that just popped in, all the way up to, to the baby boomers and beyond. I think there's going to be something for everybody. We really try to mix the questions up so that they're not cultural specific or age specific. There's something for everybody. Now, let's just change gears real quickly to this HBO special that you co-produced starring Michael Phelps, probably the best Olympian of my generation I've ever seen. I, I used to be a swimmer, so he's like a hero of mine. I used to actually be a butterflyer. So watching him do what he does in butterfly is just, it's almost mind boggling to me to see that he never gets tired. He's like a machine. So uh, <laughs> he's, he, it's gonna be premiering tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. 6 p.m. Pacific on HBO. Tell us about it. Called The Weight of Gold. The Weight of Gold. Thank you. It's exciting. It's, it's exciting. I wrote that title in a notebook four years ago when we thought up this concept, me Brett and Brett Rapkin from Podium Pictures. And this, this film has been on a journey, that's for sure, to get it off the ground. It, it started out as a film on a bobsledder, a U.S. bobsledder heading back to Pei and Chang. And it turned into a film on mental health with Olympian, uh, amongst Olympic athletes because of the uh, tragedy that you'll see in the film that happened with the bobsledder. Um, we, we had to pivot. I knew Michael Phelps from Baltimore, where I grew up, and um, he was amazing. Him, Octagon, Peter Carlisle to jump on and the project and take it from there. And we ended up interviewing you know, about a dozen different gold medalists on the topic of mental health. And it, it really is interesting what they go through and, and their identity issues and just so much with the weight of the world on your shoulders literally and for one moment for one moment in time and whether you win or lose um there there are a lot of problems that come out of that mentally and so we wanted to do a film that exposed the problem that helped people and that made people feel they're not alone because so many americans and people worldwide in canada they suffer from mental health issues we wanted to erase the stigma and let them know that mental Illness is not mental weakness. And that's the biggest um, goal of this movie. And I think you guys will really enjoy it. Well, I'll be watching it. And thank you so much for your time today. I'm very excited about watching the evolution of Clickstream. Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited about watching this new HBO special on Michael Phelps and all the other Olympic athletes. Thank you so much for your time today, Amber. Is there anything else you want anyone else that's watching this video to know about Clickstream before we say goodbye? No, I think uh, CLIS, 
go go check it out check it out it's it's time to get in right now because i think it will blow up and um remember win quick app and it has no c in it just win quick app tell your friends tell your family i think it's it's something you all will enjoy we're looking forward to it and thanks for having me thank you so much thank you uh everyone for watching we are here with our very special guest thank you so much for your time today amber theo harris the vice president of original program development for clickstream symbol clis and don't forget to catch the weight of gold tomorrow on hbo 9 p.m eastern 6 p.m pacific thank you for watching everybody amber have yourself a great day thanks you too Thank you.